So, this thing with Dante, you love it, right? So much. It's crazy, clearly. Um, I just, I, I don't want to get so wrapped up in what we have that I lose myself. But even if he was ready for marriage, you would still say no. From what I've seen, saying I do is the fastest way to kill a relationship. I mean, look at Maxie and Spinelli. Theirs was a non-marriage, and it was still a beginning to an end. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that it has to be like that for you guys. After everything you've been through, you still believe in happily ever afters? I didn't say it was going to be a fairy tale, okay? I'm just saying that marriage works for some people. But what Dante and I have right now works, so why would I mess with that? I mean, for the first time, I, I, I feel like I can let my guard down and love somebody completely because I know that Dante would never hurt me. I know there's no such thing as happily ever after, which makes you wonder why people get married in the first place. It's not a piece of paper or vows that make a difference. It's just, it's just human nature that messes things up. You know, we have unrealistic expectations. We think that if a person truly loves us, they should act the way we want them to. Say the right thing, buy the right gift or whatever. And we assume that we know each other so well and we should be able to read each other's minds. And all of those assumptions over time just lead to a lot of disappointments. But look, if, if, if a guy ever tells you that you complete him, run. Just run for the hills, because we're no good to anyone if we're not a whole person ourselves. Okay, um, that's some brotherly wisdom. Yes, from the school of hard knocks. Look, just don't assume anything, okay? Just ask Dante what's, what's bothering him, what he's feeling, and actually listen to his answer. What? Do you know how hard it is to get a man to discuss his feelings? I didn't say it was going to be easy. But, I mean, this, that's what it's going to take. I mean, you have to be able to be honest and see the other person for who they really are. You guys are going to have to be able to be that vulnerable and transparent with each other if you have any chance of making it. And look, just promise me, don't make any other person your salvation or whatever, because that's just ridiculous. Well, I mean, I have it easy. Dante doesn't represent anything. Good. He's simply the man that I love. Michael, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, nothing. I was supposed to be on a snack run with Spinelli. I was stocking up to celebrate Jason's release from Benville. I'm uh, glad Jason's out. Yeah, me too. And obviously. Look, um, I wanted to thank you for when you cover with Ronnie before. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you yeah. might want to be careful doing that around here. Uh, listen, I hope you, you realize how serious this was. I know. I mean, if you and Dante would have set us at the shooting, my, my parole probably would have been revoked. And I was referring to how you nearly got shot. Again. <clears throat> and you've been hit by stray bullets before, Michael. How many more chances do you think you have? I don't know. It was weird. I didn't even... I didn't even think about it, I just reacted. But listen, though, I, I want to let you know, I, I got a good look at the car mm -hmm. okay, and the people driving it, and none of them work for my dad. And I'm not just saying that to, to protect anybody, it's the truth. Okay, but Sonny put the whole thing into motion. He framed Johnny for Tomas Lopez's death. Okay, you know, even if that's true, you didn't even things out by saving Johnny, at least I had. Mean, I'm not saying that, that it didn't take courage to do what you did. I mean, you probably saved Johnny's life, but you need to take a step back now. Because your father and Johnny are determined to see this thing through to an ugly end. And people are going to get hurt, Michael. Probably even killed. I guess this is probably the last place you want to be so soon after Pentonville, but I thought you might want to hear what I had to say. It must be important. Yeah. Look, I know how loyal you are to Sonny. He's done good by you, but that's not always the case with the rest of the people in his universe, including his kids. Okay. Sonny put something into motion that could have gotten Michael killed today. He had Tomas Lopez killed. He framed Johnny and it worked. Santos Lopez made his move in broad daylight today. Okay, what does it have to do with Michael? He was with Johnny when it happened. He shoved him out of the line of fire just in time. He probably 
save Johnny's life. A little while ago, I didn't say a word about this. Well, maybe he didn't want to ruin your homecoming. I just thought you might want to know that Michael was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's a violation of his parole. Yeah, well, Dante and I covered for him. According to the official report, Michael was nowhere near the scene. Well, thank you for that. No problem. And listen, Johnny's not going to contradict us. He likes Michael. He even feels obligated to him to some degree now. But this thing between Johnny and Sonny is going to hell and fast. It's only a matter of time before someone dies. Are you, are you going to go after Santos from the shooter? There's no evidence. I'm just piecing things together, but in the meantime, I want to keep bloodshed to a minimum. So you want me to talk Sonny down? Yeah. Or John. I don't really care who. I just need a truce before it's too late. You know why? Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, you imply that it was top secret. I've got something to say, and the squad room is not exactly the place, because if it gets back to Mac, you're, you're not going to tell him, right? He's supposed to be taking it easy after a surgery, and if he found out about this, he would rip Patrick's head off. Maxie, just tell me what's going on. Okay, um, there's this doctor. Her name is Lisa Niles, and I think she has a thing for Patrick. I want you to do a background check on her. A background check? Okay, let me... <laughs> Let me get this straight. With uh, no sign of criminal behavior, just based on your hunch, you want me to violate this woman's privacy because she might have the hots for Robin's husband. There's no might about it. You want to know how I know? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Lisa is hung up on Patrick, like how I was hung up on you. 